Hi friends, welcome to a super simple, no fluff tutorial on how to create a Facebook page in literally just a couple of clicks. It's way easier than you might think, so let's go ahead and dive right in. First, make sure you're logged into Facebook. So that's where I am right now, just facebook.com. On the left hand side, towards the top of the page, look for the pages button. Go ahead and click on that. That's gonna show you all your pages and then it's also going to show you a button on the left that says create new page. Go ahead and click create new page. Okay, then you're gonna land on this page. This is where you put in your settings to actually create your page. There are only three settings that you need to create a page. A name of the page, the category of the page, and a description of the page. So first, let's go ahead and put in a name for our page. I'm gonna put a fake name because I'm not gonna use this video as an opportunity to teach you how to name your page. I have a blog post for that on anchordesignco.com slash blog. I want this video to be short, sweet, and easy to follow along with. So we've got our page name. Then we need to choose our category. Start typing in a category or a keyword that relates to your business. Let's pretend I'm a beauty business of some kind. I might type the word beauty. That brings up tons of options. So I would scroll through and decide what makes the most sense. Let's decide on beauty store for this example. Then you're gonna write a description. Here's the thing about the description. It's not permanent. You can change this anytime. So do not stress about writing a perfect description right now. Just write who you are, what you do, and who you serve. Okay, once you have your page name, your page category, and your description, you can go ahead and create your page by clicking the blue button at the bottom that says create page. So go ahead and click on that. Once you click on that button, your page will officially be created. You'll stay on the same page that you're already on, but notice more options have opened up for us. So now we can add a profile picture. That's what goes right here. And we can also add a cover photo. That's what goes up here at the top, okay? If you have those available, definitely upload those right away. So you would just literally click on it and then choose a picture to upload, okay? So you would just pick whatever picture you want to upload. I have a stock photo here. I'll use that as an example. Same thing for your cover photo. I don't have one saved for the purposes of this example, but I have a stock photo, so I'm just going to use that. So look at what happens. It shows you a preview of what that's going to look like. So it makes it really easy to just really quick upload your stuff. Now you can drag over here on the left-hand side to reposition. Again, I'm obviously using a stock photo, so it's not really a great cover photo, but it does get the job done to show you an example of how this works. Once you've uploaded your profile photo and your cover photo, go ahead and click save. And that's gonna save all of this to your page. Then it's going to give you a couple of additional options. If you want to, you can connect to WhatsApp. I don't use WhatsApp, I barely know what it is, so I am not gonna be doing this. So I'm just gonna click X and get rid of that. It's gonna ask me if I'm sure, and the answer is yes, I want to leave. All right, so now we have a brand new page. And what's really nice about uploading that cover photo and that profile picture when it asks for it in the beginning is that your page looks pretty professional right, right away. Now, here's what I would do next. At this point, your page is officially created. You could leave and be done right now, but here's what I would do. Right here, under your title, you see the option to create a username. Click on that and add a username that's very easy to remember and very easy for people to type. It should be similar to your group name. So if the name of my page was Kelly Lowerman, I would make my username Kelly Lowerman. If my page name was Anchor Design Co., I would make my username Anchor Design Co. Keep it simple. The next thing I would do is I would add a button right here. Click add a button and you're gonna get a couple of options. Look through and see what could be helpful to you. Here are a few ideas if you're not sure. You could add a follow button. That's a really good one to add. So now we can see the option that people will be able to follow. Obviously it shows you the option to edit the follow button. Everyone else gets the option to follow though. We can edit that and choose a different one so maybe you want people to contact you, that's gonna direct them to your contact info. 
You want people to send you a message, that'll direct you to having them send, direct them to send you a message. This will open up an email. This will open up a website. So for example, if you have an Anchor Card digital business card, I would choose this one. Click learn more and then type your Anchor Card right here. And now there will be a button up here that allows them to click on it and visit your Anchor Card digital business card. So those are the two things I would do once your page is created. Create a username. That username gets used at the top so that it ends up being facebook.com slash whatever username you pick rather than facebook.com slash a bunch of random letters and numbers. A little easier to remember. And then this button shows up giving people a call to action. That helps people visit your page and then actually do something with your business afterwards. So those are the two things that I would do as soon as your page is ready. The next thing I would do, go ahead and share your first post. Just scroll down a little bit and you can click create post. Then you can upload a picture. A great picture to add would be one of yourself. And then you can go ahead and add some text. I would introduce yourself. That's a perfect first post for your Facebook page. All right, guys, you now know how to set up your Facebook page. You know the two tips or things that I would recommend doing as soon as your page is ready. And then the one last thing to do before you move on, which is to share a post potentially a post introducing yourself. I hope that this was helpful and I cannot wait to see the group that you create for your business. Bye for now.